1006 Brown Bag Mornings. I'm Letty. I'm Rosecrans Vic. And this is so freaking cool. Man. This is cool. This is like... This is like a long time coming. This is top tier bucket list. This is 360 because this man that we're about to introduce was always supporting of us as a podcast. That's before we even came onto broadcast on radio. And he's always been there for us. He rocked the crowd with us. Yes, never forget that. Make some noise for MC Magic, MC baby! Magic! Thank you for that intro. I oh, appreciate magic. it. I'm so happy to be here. I appreciate you guys continuing mm-hmm. to support me in my little movement. It's love. Little. I nah, wish it was little. On, no, man. it's so, <laughs> like, you're a household name, Good and it you. feels so good to have you inside Power 106, because me and you spoke a little bit. You you know these halls. Of course. Like, you know what, what you did, what MB Riders did, and, you know, I was talking about this with Lil Rob the other day. Like, the way that I felt seen in music was through your guys' music in hip-hop. And something that I love, you know, with the Pocos Pero Loco, shout out to yep. Kool-Aid, a mentor of mine. But when I saw all of that, I was like, damn, we can have a space, you know, yes. besides the B-Reels and the Cypress Hills. It's like, no, this is one that's strictly focused on our lifestyle, on our exactly. car culture, mm. on like the way that love. our men romance our women, you know. Yep. And Amen. it was really beautiful to have you be the voice of that because you can't go back in, in that era and not think of your voice, MC Magic. That's amazing. You, you know. It's a compliment because I was a little chavalito trying to be part of something. And so when Ooh. you tell me, like, you you, you meant something to us, to me, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. You know, I'll be all around the country and, and people will be telling me, uh, I miss L.A., bro. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm from Santa Ana or I'm from the 818. Yep. And, and people just assume that I'm from California <laughs> yes. all yeah. the time. And I'm just like, yeah, yeah I miss it too, bro. Yeah. You're honorary. <laughs> yeah. You're honorary. Pretty you much. think we're talking about it. Yeah. Like yeah. finding out you're from Arizona, which is low-key like the primo. Yeah, of like course. The primo no state. Doubt. But finding it out, I was like, wait, he's not from out here? Yeah. It's like I feel like every like fan of yours had that moment yeah. where they were like, Wait a minute, he's yeah. from Arizona? Yeah, I thought he was from San Fernando. Yeah, yeah. and you I've know, seen you, those comments. <laughs> you kind of grow up and you just think like, I mean, at least me, when you grow up in LA, you're just like, oh, like all the Latinos that are in music are from True. LA or whatever. Yeah. yeah. But and then it's like, no, it's like Lil Rob's from San Diego. It's a very conceited way of thinking. It is. It's very on self-centered. Our part. And LA, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. but we're but I've had it not just not just uh, in LA. Uh, like I've had people say from El Paso. Yeah. Texas. Like, yeah. They're like, bro, you you're not from Chuco Town? <laughs> <laughs> I figured they put you on the radio because you were from. Chuco yeah, you forgot, yeah. like a because, local like, talent. Because our kind of music was really not making radio back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. But we did. We broke Ooh. through. That's right. That's right. Ooh, can I run away? Oh, my with God. You? Shut Shut to my pretty brown bag lady. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell, like, you've made this synonymous with you. This talk Amen. box and what you've done with it, and we know the, the history of where it comes from, but what was that moment when you're like, I'm going to start incorporating it into our music? Well, uh, I wrote a record called Down For Yours, mm-hmm. and and uh, and um, when we finished the record, it sounded so good, I felt it was a hit. Mm-hmm. I just felt it was a hit, and I woke up one morning, and I'm like, if we added Roger Troutman on the talk box to it, it would just take it next level. And back then, there was no internet, so mm-hmm. I knew the radio people would be impressed. Mm. And it was so hard to get radio play. Yep. And so we made the investment to get Roger Troutman on the record. It, w- it was a little bit of a challenge, yeah, but we I made bet. it happen. Yeah. Uh, and then after he died, a, a, cu- a couple years later, I felt like there was a void, an I emptiness see. in my heart, you know? Because me and Roger became pretty tight. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, and so I reached out to his brothers and I'm like, what would it take for you guys to build me a talk box just what? like Rogers? And they did. They, they made me one. And I this is the one that I use to this day that it came Shut from. Up. I know it's original because yeah. it says Radio Shack right there. Yeah, and that company Radio don't Shack. exist no more. <laughs> Where is it Radio Shack? Right the there. amp. The amp. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, the amp. Actually, yeah. I buy these uh, whenever they come available on, on, on eBay. Mm-hmm. Wow. I buy them because the airlines throw, th- throw stuff around. So, uh-huh. you know, the amps go out. They right. Get the, 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 it's old circuitry, Because it travels too. with yeah. you. Yes, it travels a lot. It's been Dang. everywhere. Wow. Mm-hmm. And... Custom made. Custom made for me by Zap, uh, which is uh, yeah, Terry Zap and, and yeah. Lester Troutman. That's Ooh. incredible. Rogers Brothers. And since then, I feel like what you've done with it, it was like the baton pass. It was like yet yeah, like keeping that legacy going because to this day, we know it in our, you kept that alive for us, yeah. you know, and for generations to come. That's Thank a beautiful you. thing. That means a lot to me because I love it so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I love it so much. When I received it, it took me about a year right. before I was able to uh, to put a song together. Yeah. And the first one that I did was Runaway. That Come was on. the wow. first one. The slight work. You know, wow. it's just that you made I would work. give my life for you. You mean the world to me. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so no, funny. I always try doing that with the straw. Never work. <laughs> <laughs> my, my cousin tried doing it with the hose, the green one. I'm like, no, uh, it's not, not the, the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> Magic, so cool. uh, you know, you spoke about having like listening to to Zap and Roger, and it's like you feel that feeling, and you know now you're kind of filling that void. I don't hear anybody else coming behind you though. This is just MC Magic. Like I don't hear anybody using the talk box yeah. like you do. Have you heard anybody try to use it? Or well, is there anybody that there's a there? lot of great talk boxers out there? Matter yeah. of fact, a lot better than me. Technically, a yeah. lot oh. better than me because I learned to play my melodies. Yeah, but I'm not like a keyboardist i'm not a mm-hmm. guitar player i just learn it a matter of fact when i first started doing songs i put tape on the right keys to so that tell I would, you which, which way to right. go i mean i got it down pat right. now yeah but there's guys out there like fingers mm-hmm. like mr talk okay. box uh, that are really phenomenal at it mm-hmm. you know yeah. and you know what's crazy though it's beyond just knowing the talk box it is your melodies it is the songwriting yeah, it's yeah. the production yeah exactly. all of that like the full force of what mc to magic is that that's why you're in See, your own lane you're with so it. smart I always admired. <laughs> I always admired how how well versed you are mm-hmm. in the hip hop game. Man, like I when love you, it. Uh, you, like when you were hanging out with J Cole mm-hmm. and all the things that you knew. I was like, damn, this little girl knows so yeah. much. And then for you to just pull that out, because a lot of people don't know that the best songs have the best melodies. Yep. yep. And it's all about melody. And so that's the advantage that I think I've had over other talk box yeah. players is that I'm a songwriter. And so I take a, a melody, turn it into a song, and that's why it hits people a different way Sheesh. than just me imitating California Love on the talk box. That part. Yeah. You know, it's funny you mentioned Cole because we were just playing Workout. Yeah. When you heard the Workout from me, yeah. like, where you're like, oh, okay, I see, <laughs> I see that coming up in hip hop yeah. again or moving forward. Yes. You know, it's cool too uh, when we talk about everything you've done with Magic City, MC Magic, all of that. It's cool that the name has stayed relevant. You know, sometimes, and, and shout out to all of our ogs but even in the picking your name it can get a little dated mc magic a new rapper timeless. can come yes timeless <laughs> yeah. and be that yeah. Talk Gracias to you adios. About creating yeah. that because you had to have been a fan of hip-hop too to even yes. add the mc part and know like this is who i'm what i'm gonna yeah. go by sometimes when i talk about the early records that influenced me people be like what i never <laughs> heard of that <laughs> and you know like 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 rock master scott and the dynamic three Dang, killer groove magic. Yeah. grandmaster flash apache mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I remember. I remember. I used to say this as a DJ before I started writing songs. I, I would. I would say this on the microphone. And then I'm like, damn, that'll be a dope record. I used to say, ladies and gentlemen, get to the dance floor. And then this group called Midnight Star came out with a record that said, Freakazoid Robots, please report to them. And I was like, they read my mind. <laughs> and so, Freakazoid Robots yeah, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. The dance and so, floor. and so uh, the early records that influenced me, you know, they they didn't have talk box yet. Mm-hmm. It was and I, I was listening to stuff like from Grandmaster yep. Flash. Yeah. And that stuff just really it really just made me love music. Mm-hmm. And so because of the name Grandmaster Flash, everybody had these big flash. DJ names yeah. Yeah. so I wanted to go with something that was cool but not too flashy because yeah. a lot of times when, when you're branding yourself it's kind of hard to take yourself serious sometimes you know mm, yeah. especially in the beginning mm-hmm. yeah. when you get it you find out who you really are like Drake says you know you made it when you are who you think you, you are, are. Yeah. you feel what I'm saying Sheesh, yep. and so I said let me go fancy but not too fancy yeah. so I call myself the magic mixer so okay. when I was mixing Ooh. records you know I was magic yeah. and I thought that was cool and then I took my initials Marco Cardenas ah. when I started writing oh songs oh my gosh my mind is blown I right know. now I just turned it into MC, MC. Magic wow MC so oh, you were born literally yeah, born to be an MC yeah you were meant MC. to be yes. yeah. you were an MC wow I love it yeah. makes sense why you're not Grandmaster Magic <laughs> nah that, that, that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have, uh, age that well I was about to say you know that yeah you don't hear Grandmasters anymore yeah. and it's that. always yeah. associated with old school Perfect. And then even if people were like, well, MC is this, it'd be like, well, it's actually my initials. It's so actually it my can, name. Yeah. It can't be taken away they from They are you. my initials. That's amazing. Dang, that's so dope. <laughs> that's a trip. Uh, Magic, did you ever think of, because I know now more and more artists are getting their uh, McDonald's uh, meals. Yeah. Because it does go with that. Like, what would the MC Magic, what would the McMagic meal be like? Ooh. Um, 
What would the magic meal be like? You know, actually, my favorite sandwich at McDonald's. Can we guess? Can we guess? Yeah, you can guess. Okay. Uh, spicy chicken. Okay, that's his guess. Favorite sandwich. He said sandwich. Is it fish fillet? Oh my goodness! Oh, Lenny, no! you got it. Wait, Let's wait. go. How did you know? I don't know. I was like, like I was looking into your sunglasses, and I was going into your eyes, and I was like, yeah. I do love the fish I fillet. Love wow. Fish fillet. But you know why? Because right. all that damn tartar sauce. The tartar, it's the sauce. The sauce makes I've it. I've never had a fish fillet. Yeah, that's oh, my favorite you're one. Out, bro. Really? Yeah. I actually know uh, the McMarro family, and we've and we've talked about doing an, uh, a a Mc Magic meal. I love and jokingly, that. we did it with Concrete Live. Yeah, I saw the. We oh, did the post yeah. and stuff, and those guys said, "Let's do it, Magic. Let's let's put it together." We just haven't sat down and, and ironed it out. McMarro owns, I think, like like seventy McDonald's in Southern Ooh. California. Wow. Yeah. That's Damn, cool beans. That's crazy. And I so, mean, yeah, I mean, it really, it's just about calling calling Andrew back and saying, let's do it. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's and I'm already purchasing. <laughs> and if you've never had a fish fillet, bro. Those I'm fish fillets are I'm good. Done yeah. try, I'm done trying with Magic. Yep. Let's I'm go. Try it. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Tell me about, like, um, am, are there any artists out there that you want to work with? Like, some current artists that are just like, man, I know I could give them some ish. Like, I know if we get in the studio, we could yeah. make... No pun intended, magic. Yeah, yeah. I don't listen to a lot of current artists because uh -huh. I'm so busy doing what I do. Yeah. And when I do get to work with established artists, even just meeting uh, established artists, it's kind of heartbreaking because egos. Yeah. Mm. I find it real tough to deal with egos. Yeah. And so I just I just turn off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, if someone says something, I'll just turn off like that. Yeah. And, and, and maybe it's my ego that does that. <laughs> but I just like people that are humble, down, yeah. genuine, and really ready, ready to work. And I heard Dr. Dre say this one time, that he gets more gratification working with an upcoming artist because they get more excited than someone who's already established. Yeah. Yeah. And Feeling that's kind of my too thing, too. Yep. That's why pulling out J-Rocks and working with young mm -hmm. artists that nobody even knew before yes. brings so much more gratification gratification to me i feel like there's so many young artists that could benefit from one like your songwriting abilities your production and just telling them look this is how you make a hit record you know what i'm saying getting in the studio with them and like yeah coaching them and then but like bringing know, that current sound with with you know your i sauce. take that as a compliment Vic, of course but you know it's hard to teach somebody something when they already know everything uh, and a lot of the young cats the young know kids. everything what they i do. have seen is like it would be what you do with uh female singers and understanding like that voice especially within rap now when we were coming up it was it was not the the spread out landscape that it is mm -hmm. but it's beautiful to see like i can see these girls pop up with you and collab with you on songs right yeah and it's like you provide that space where it's like look they're gonna come for me, but make yourself shine so that they can leave remembering. Hey, who's that girl? Like who's exactly, on stage? Yeah. exactly. And, and I'm glad you brought that up because mm -hmm. uh, if you listen to my catalog over over history, I've always inserted female mm -hmm. vocals. Yeah. We can run away and spend some time. Jeez. I'll always be the one right by, by your side. Yeah. You know all that. Uh, you know you could tell your lies. Ooh, I don't really yeah. care yeah. what you feel inside. Oh my gosh! And I feel like <laughs> that's why song. women gravitated towards your music so much because you gave their perspective. Yes, Ooh. I did. And, and it's funny that I wrote all the perspectives yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow! I wrote you spoke for us. All the female <laughs> yeah. perspectives. But I've always loved a, a female voice, mm -hmm. a sweet female yes. voice. Uh, you know, I don't. Uh, you know, singing, uh, having a guy's hook is dope. But the girl just. It allows my fans to sing along. Yeah. Yes. And we're singing along. Oh, man. You what? know what I love, Magic, too? Sorry to cut you off, Vic. Uh, is this new, like, the what the what the Mexican regional scene is doing, what the purely Spanish speakers are doing. You know, we come in hip-hop, our stuff always mixed in, and we kind of went into another genre, which, yes, we had input on, but it was predominantly a black uh, form of music. Yes. Now when you look at the Mexican regional genre of music and you see that that's what's cool to listen to. We talk about all the time, like, that's the music my dad listened to and I listened to it on the way to, like, on the way to school because my dad. Yeah. Now the kids are pushed... Put, Pressing play on Peso Pluma, yep. on Eslabon Armado, on all these acts. Yeah. And I know you see it like, wow, I love that that it's gone to this space where it's cool to speak Spanish, to sing in Spanish, to to represent like that. Yeah. I, I love the I love the corrido movement and I've always loved it. Mm -hmm. Whether it was Ramon Ayala or Los Tigres del Norte yep. singing Dicen que venían del sur. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's that fire. Yeah. fire. Yeah. You know, so I've always loved it and we're producing a new album that is a corrido, more corrido romanticos. Okay. My son Antonio my youngest uh -huh. is a corrido singer and, what? and he plays a guitar what? and so we've got some of that coming 
That's amazing. Antonio, AC Magic. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. We call him Tito. That's his Tito? nickname. Tito? Yeah, oh, he's, my uh, God. Tito Cardenas. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. And I'm sure, so like, dope. again, you don't, them having been the the kids that grew up to us, it's funny because Peso Pluma, when he was out here, he brought out OGZ. And yeah. to him, he's like, this is my favorite of, of all yeah, time. Yeah. But yep. it's like these these new regional acts like Fuerza Regida, Junior H, they're listening to you. You know, you're in their library, in their yeah. catalog. I'm sure there's collaborations that should be happening if not yeah. aren't already happening. The first one who said that we should do a collaboration was Jimmy Humilde. Wow. He's Dang. like, he's like, Magic, let's do it for the culture, bro. Let's mm-hmm. do it for the culture. And so we talked about it, and it's probably about, but it's been a year now, yeah. and it, 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 it hasn't happened, but right. it doesn't mean that it won't, it won't. happen, because Jimmy's a busy guy. Yeah. Yeah. And not only that, all those kids that are doing that, they're busy they're busy True. artists busy. as well. I love that new Shakira with Fuerza Regi. Yes. That's oh, yeah. so good. And that's what we're going to see more of, just yep. like the, yeah. the genres mixing yeah. and clashing. I love the fusions that have happened mm-hmm. in music, but I love all kinds of music. Uh, I I just finished a record with Michael Salgado, one of my favorite singers from Texas, and that's going to be on my new album, and I'm so crazy excited for everyone to hear it. We're filming the video next week in San Antonio, and it's just, it's going to be amazing. That's awesome. All right, we got to take it back to my favorite song of yours (laughs) of all time, Mm -hmm. So Fly. Yes. So Fly, so cool. That song, like, <laughs> give, him the, I first, give him the, give him the I know. <laughs> He's trying. That, that song, like, when I was, like, 12, 13, I first heard it in my dad's truck, and I'm like, what is this? Yeah. This is the greatest song of yeah. all time, because I felt like it was speaking to me, and then just, just tell me about the inspiration behind that song, and, like, just, yeah, just give me, like, mm-hmm. how it came about. You know, um, a lot of times a, a beat maker will, will give you some beats, and one beat alone could just take you in a direction where you weren't going. Yeah. yeah. And that's what happened with So Fly. Um, uh, my homeboy, DJ, he was DJ, official DJ of our group uh, back in Phoenix. His name is DJ Too Swift, mm-hmm. Oscar Rodriguez. He gave me a Blue Memorex CD, and he said, Magic, here's some old beats that we're not doing anything with. You could have them. Wow. And so... I took that blue Memorex and I beat one, beat two. Probably about the fourth beat, I heard. And I just went, oh. oh." (laughs) And it was set from there, baby. It was set. I felt I just. It talked to me. It talked to me. And I sang the hook. I sang the hook. And uh, earlier that week, uh, I had Big Gemini from Dallas, Texas in town. Mm -hmm. I was writing a song for him called Crazy for You. Uh, which was his like breakout hit as well yeah. back in the day. And uh, and his car broke down when they were leaving town, you know? And so he called me, he goes, Magic, we broke down, we got to go to the shop. And I go, well, they're fixing your car, come back to the studio. And I pulled open a session and it was so fly. And I go, why don't you sing the hook? And that's who sang the hook. I'm on. only in town yeah, yeah. for one night. Let oh, me know man. if you're down to ride. <laughs> and really, I, I, if, if you listen to the lyrics, I've always wanted to challenge myself to give lyrically the lady something that they can connect with and say, yep, this guy knows what he's talking yeah. about. Like yeah. add credibility to the lyrics. And, and when you listen to that song, that's one of those songs. I'm only in town for one night, girl. Yeah. Let's go. I'm in room, I'm in room 602. <laughs> okay, yeah. Magic. Yeah, yeah. Okay, magic. <laughs> and, and when I said I'm in room 602, it, I love it that everybody all over, the, all over the world sings it and I'm actually from the 602. Wow. Oh, that's why. I was about to ask you why 602. That's right. Yeah, that's, I would have went with 304 personally. That's but, the yeah. Phoenix area yeah. code. Yeah. That's yeah. cool, B. <laughs> yes. Okay, Magic, you know, I was I, I wanted to tell you this story because this is why I brought like the Mexican regional stuff up. Because before even they were doing it, you had done a, a like a more corrido type sounding Man, song. God bless you. And that Letty. was no, I remember because look, I was an intern and I remember they had passed the song to the PD mm-hmm. and they were like, We can't do anything with this because he's MB writers, he's MC Magic, he does this type of music, and this is corridos. They didn't know what to do with the song. They didn't get it. They didn't get it. And I remember being an intern and then playing the song in like one of the PD's offices. They played it for like the I saw PD, and then um, he was like, "No, I can't, I, I can't." And in my brain, I heard it, and I was like, "I have to get my hands on that song. I have to hear that song." <laughs> so I would hear it all the time at the crib. But that was what was dope to me. It's like you even touched on that before this wave. Yes, yeah. you know of what course. I'm saying. And, and and it's so beautiful that you are saying it, not me, mm-hmm. because a lot of times I see people trying to convince the world that they were first, that they yeah. were. And it no, seems this is like shady. 2008 vibes. Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, this one right I didn't here. know that. 
Todos mis días quiero besarte Todas mis noches quiero amarte Quiero que nunca se te vaya a olvidar Que eres mi reina y siempre te voy a amar Come wow. on, yeah. magic That's a deep cut, Lati yeah. For sure, <laughs> and it was just cool that it always comes The beginnings always come at a time and have the hardest time The first ones yeah. 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 But once that once that road is set yeah. We have these moments where it's like a renaissance almost And when it comes to the banda, mm -hmm. hip-hop, Latin, fusion I really, I really can't have this conversation without giving shout-outs to Aquid Oh, of oh, yeah. course. Shout yeah, that, out to Aquid yeah, for what yep. they've done. That brother duo, incredible that what they've done. What yeah, they Sergio and Francisco. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we actually were supposed to do a song together. I remember we had, we had a concert in in in, um, in Chicago, yeah. and I showed it to Sergio in my car, and he's like, bro, we, I have to get on that. I have to get on that. And I'm like, I'll send it to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I sent it to him, and he, I never got nothing back. So I ended up using the song uh, for, for a collaboration I did with another one of my favorite idols, which you guys probably don't even know who he is, mm -hmm. Nestor Daniel El Terricola from Los Terricolas de Venezuela. No, oh, that's no. crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's I luto en mi alma. I don't know if you guys know it, but your that, palette for music yes. is <laughs> Venezuela, banda, yeah, hip hop, yeah, yeah. everything yes. like talk yes. box. So everything is right here with yeah. you. And that's sometimes like I feel like Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah. Like everything was built for this one moment. Like everything that you saw and experienced in your life yes. was so that you could be MC Magic and bring forth the creations that you have with your music, mm. right? Magic, take take me to like when you were a kid. Like, cause this melody that you do, like I just heard this song and then I was like, wow, like that's a gift. Yeah. And Amen. you know, for you, it comes natural because Amen. it's you. But when did you first start noticing, like, oh, this is different? Like, I'm different than other kids. I'm different than other people. You know, when I was eight years old, I, there's a lyric in one of my songs says uh, that I fell in love with my first love. I think I was eight, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 she's taken me all over the world. Um, she's done everything for me, and it's music. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And so I remember being eight years old. And if I was your wife, I'd be like, who is she? Yeah. and he <laughs> Taking you all over the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And hearing those songs, I remember on the radio, there was a, a romantic song that goes, uh, that goes, uh, Dicen que los hombres no deben llorar por una mujer que ha pagado mal. Mm -hmm. And that, at eight years old, I was like, yo, I'm in it love. Hit. I don't know what happened. It <laughs> hit. Woo. Yeah. That was King Clave. Yes. Yeah. And That's then you, you knew that it brought something forth in you to create. Of course, of course. The seed was already there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's like God waters the earth, and that's why it's so beautiful and green. And we already had that seed, and hearing other music just watered my ability to to learn more melodies and, and really to pull a, a melody out, out of thin air, yeah. uh, which is a gift, you know? It's mm -hmm. a gift, and, I, you know, I don't take it lightly. Did you, like, do the parties in high school or, like, talent shows? I or did, like yeah, because I first started out DJing. Yeah. yeah. I first started out DJing, so, uh, and, and the high school that I went to was predominantly non-Hispanics, mm -hmm. even though it was in the city of Avondale. It just seems like the uh, the, the American kids, the white kids, always run everything, whether mm. it's student government, mm -hmm. yeah. the this club, that club. And and I was like, yo, y'all got to hire me for the dances. I mean, like, I got these records and, yeah. and and la, la, la. So finally, when I convinced them to hire me, you know, that's when I started becoming the cool dude. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah, that's our DJ, yeah. man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and were you mixing or like, I could make a song better than the one that I'm playing? No, no. I've always been a fan of music. Okay. But I take the inspiration. From it. Very few times do I hear a song that's already done and rocking. And I say, oh, I would have done this different. Mm -hmm. I'd rather get inspired by it and do something different. Mm. You feel me? Yeah. Let's see Magic Man. Um, you've toured everywhere. Um, is it like a, a lot of times you, you tour with the same artist, right? Like yeah. you see you run into like a Baby Bash and Lil Rob. Mm -hmm. What is that like, you know, to have a sustainable career for the past, what, 20 some plus years? You know, is it like a family reunion every time you guys like it is. link up? Baby Bash is my brother. Lil Rob is my brother. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I told Big D that we're the trifecta, the Latin trifecta. Yes. Because it works so well. But it, it, it's not, it hasn't just been me. Over history, I remember seeing groups, similar groups right. perform together all the time, whether it's Midnight Star, Rolls Royce, GQ. Mm -hmm. Again, groups that you guys probably don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. But I remember these groups. I'm wishing on a star. Oh my gosh. You yes. feel me? Like that kind of stuff. It yeah. just And so that's what happened with the, the Chicano uh 
Latin rap, mm-hmm. Chicano rap. I hate to put labels on anything. Right. Yeah. Good music is just it's good, good music. music. Exactly. But for our genre sector, right? Ge- what, do you, what do you call it? Ge- ge- yeah. Geographic. I think that makeup. era, for that era of An music. Era. Exactly. exactly. Mm-hmm. So me, Rob, and Bash were the trifecta, baby. Do you guys yeah. three have a song together? We, we do, and it's not out yet. <laughs> oh my god! It's not out yet. Breaking exclusives. Yes. Preview. Yes. yes. Tell us about That's it. That's so like, cool. Yeah. Uh, my homeboy Cricket, who just got signed with Warner Brothers uh, Publishing. Yep. He's a producer here from. Uh, uh, I want to say San Gabriel Valley. I hope I'm not wrong, Cricket, mm-hmm. but he's from out here. Mm-hmm. He sent me a beat a while back. He's like, Magic, this has your name on it, bro. This is just for you, bro. And so I took it, I listened to it. I remember the beat was called Whittier. Whittier, <laughs> Whittier Boulevard. He probably is just <laughs> and, like and so around I listened there. to it. I, I put it on the studio, wrote a few hooks to it, and then I found one that I like. It's called Can We Kick It? Uh, ah. And so it's it's m- myself, Bash, and Rob, produced by Cricket. Wow. Yeah. Hey, we got we to gotta jump this one and get the... the yes, <laughs> I need to hear it. I need it, to hear it. I would share it with you guys, but it's not mixed yet. No, it's yet. not mixed yeah. yet. It's I not ready yet. to get the final mix When down. it yeah. is, please know. Yeah. Wow, we're yes. excited about it yeah. already. That will be for my new album. And, and I'm excited about my new album. Like I said, I got Michael Salgado. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got a song with Sad Boy Loco that's going to blow. Come that's going to blow. His voice and flow. I love yeah. Sad Boy that's Loco. Because awesome. he's Good a real one. Yes. He's real about Sad Boy Loco. You know what I'm saying? So I have that. Um, I, I got some collaborations with new artists that no one's ever heard of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's always exciting for me to introduce somebody. Yep. Um, and uh, who else? I, I'm, I'm, I'm missing a lot of people because I have so many collaborations on but this album. But it has you on it. But that's what I'm excited yeah. about. Hey. Come on. And you know what's, what, what I know we're kind of talking about that little moment in time, but it's cool to see like, Regardless of the moment in time, you're going to be around. You're going to be producing music. You're going to be creating. Your voice sounds the same. Yes. The exact <laughs> same. But even even understanding what that era did and like like we started the interview, sometimes we feel like, dang, it really put us in a box. Like we have li- a little love-hate with the ch- term Chicano rap. At least I know that we have had yeah. these conversations, right? Yep. Because at one point in time, everything was just hip-hop. Right, yeah. but yeah. once you could label something Chicano rap, that kind of made you categorized, and yeah. it left you out of the mainstream, quote unquote, hip hop. But to me, it's like that also gave kids like myself, like Vic, like Brown Bag, like wow, that's us on that's this us. level, yes. you know. Yeah. And and understanding that you guys repped so hard that you threw us to the mainstream. Yep. Brown, yeah, you know, and yeah. to me, I'm so forever thankful for that. I know that that doesn't come without trials, tribulations, the struggle for real, and to maintain relevancy. I think you have one of the most like best fan interactions, fan relationships. I see you on live all the time. Thank you. I see Thank you, you very customer, like like. C- like consumer to client all of that vibes like that's something that's going to keep you around till forever so like magic we really just want to give you your flowers that's you're right. incredible you make us better damn Absolutely. that's you know that's such a big compliment guys yep. that's such a big compliment because um to be inspired is really important yeah you know when i was a kid i was inspired by a lot of music mm-hmm. a lot of artists a lot of uh, one talk box player and nice. you know and all this and that but when i hear that i inspired others mm-hmm. and made them feel like they belong to something yes something, I man that's incredible and the word inspire is a very special word for me mm-hmm. um i had to do the research on it because it, it you know everybody throws it around mm-hmm. you know like it's a calzon but it's mm-hmm. not <laughs> the word inspire original meaning of it is when god took mud dirt formed it and it took his breath he inspired into the man whoa he inspired Come it brings on. life to humans that's what inspired me. Come on. Wow. Taking us to church with it, magic. Film? That's incredible. We don't need to go on Sunday. That's no, deep. <laughs> no, that's deep and that's no, real. Yeah, yeah, and it's and real. that makes it more authentic. You're going to use that more intentionally, but when you use it, it really does matter. So. Of course, of course. Words have so much meaning. Mm-hmm. I was doing uh, uh, some research a while back, and and you know how there's the, there's this 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 saying that Latinos are so romantic. Mm-hmm. Somos yeah. Mexicanos tenemos que yeah. ser románticos. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and they and 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 the guy that was doing the research, he took it further back. He says, well, it comes from the Roman era. That's why. The Roma is right in the beginning of it. Roma. I was like, oh. wow. Okay, wow. Mind blowing. The one good thing the Roman Empire did. No, I'm just kidding. 
Oh my god! Now you're thinking about the Roman Empire every day. No. If you think about romance, you think about the Roman I had Empire. No idea, but it makes me? so much it sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Rome, this is Roma, Roma. Yeah. romantico. Wow. Yeah. I would understand it better if you sang it though. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I sang it, let's get it. Uh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> we need an MC. Ooh, oh yeah, my god. Yeah, yeah. Tell me, pretty letty, hey. girl, where do you come from? Can we get romanticos hey. on the brown bag today? <laughs> Magic. That's awesome. That's so. That's that's so cool. That's I want to pinch myself when you start singing and you add our names Live, to it. Yes, when you say the brown bag <sighs> stuff, you coming out of our show. Like people still talk to me about that. Like, yeah. bro, remember when MC Magic came out of your show? <laughs> yeah. And one time I bragged and I got a girl because of you. Thank you. I called you. Get remember used I called to it. You? Get used. He's gonna have like, pick up so many chicks. I was like. <laughs> I, was some, I, was, I was with some girls in Texas, and they're like, "I was like, da, 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 this is what I do." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, uh, I know MC Magic." They're like, "You know MC Magic?" Oh my and gosh. I was like, "Yeah, I'll call him right now." And then you didn't answer because it was like three in the morning. But yeah, you thank you for that. Him? I did. Oh I was on a mission. I was on a mission. I'm a, I'm a, I was only in town for one night. The reason I did this, Vic, <laughs> is because I hear that a lot. Yeah. Guys always tell me, "Bro, you got me laid so many oh, times, yeah. bro." Yeah. Man. And come on Stop. now. I owe you a few That's magic. That's inspiration too. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm just yeah, saying it that is. That's, that's, it's that's, the perfect yeah. music to play. Inspired. It's the, it, like, I can't say anything else. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yes, my homie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know that guy. MC Magic, thank you so much for coming through. Anytime, the floor is yours. Whenever the album drops, come yes. through. Play that with us. We you need know, that song. We are forever in in debt to you absolutely one as fans two as like i feel like as friends and just whatever you need we got you you know brown bag got you thank you thank you but i want to give you guys your flowers too because you guys are inspiring chiquitos right now mm -hmm. you guys are inspiring uh, uh, other other youtubers other latinos and latinas that are starting their little business yep. their makeup line their flower business whatever you guys are inspiring too so continued to do what you do because y'all are doing an amazing job, Brown Bag. Come Thank on. you, Magic. MC Magic right here on Power 106, LA's number one for hip hop. Magic, can we get you to do like whatever song you want to do? Gun well, down. you know, Letty had brought up that, that I was one of the pioneers of, uh, of, uh, of mixing the, the, the hip hop, mm -hmm. the talk box with Mexican. And when I did this one, I went to I went to mariachi music. Yes. I went to mariachi music and I was, I was like, man, I'll be the first to mix mariachi with hip hop. And I'll have the tug box. <laughs> so amazing. You were right so high. Like, man, oh I hyped my myself and, and it really didn't do that well. It's commercially. okay, it's okay, it's okay. But <laughs> it's still one of my favorite songs. And this is for all my princesas. It is. Eres la princesa que me vuelve loco Y por eso yo te entrego mi amor Eres la princesa que me vuelve loco Y por eso yo te entrego el corazón Nena de los labios y los ojos que me están volviendo loco Quiero acercarme a tu lado y platicar un poco Como te llamas donde vives chula quiero ser tu novio De la primer mirada estaba convencido yo te doy todo Y si tú tienes alguien en tu vida que te está besando nena No sé qué tipo tonto se descuida deja sola a una reina Si fuera eras mía, nunca faltaría nada entre tus bellos labios. Abre la puerta de tu corazón y acepta este regalo. Eres la princesa que me vuelve loco. Let's wow. go, MC Magic. MC Magic. Magic.